Yo, Sam. Man, bro, it's a full local. Yo, Sam, yo, Sam. Yo, you, you know what deck I'm gonna playing, right? Don't mention it. It's a fire deck. Yo, do you think I could beat him? Yeah, of course. I believe it. You believe me? I okay. believe it. I believe it. Obviously. We got the coolest deck in the world, Pendulum, against the ugliest deck in the world, Flunder. I wonder I wonder who's gonna win. So we're gonna get straight into this video. But before we do, make sure to check out the link below for the new awesome game, Elestrals. You guys saw in the last few videos, I really, with the bottom of my heart, believe in this game. I really believe this game has the potential to be as big as Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. Go check out the Alestro Kickstarter down below where you can get the Founders limited edition cards. 10 years from now when this game blows up, you guys are going to remember, Trip told me to get it. And you're going to be like, thank you. I'm going to be like, no problem. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. I'm already the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world, and I'm going to be on a mission to be the best Elestral player in the world. So come play this game with me, and let's get straight into this video. Time for Pendulum to clap Flunder up. Let's go. Best deck for shitter deck. Who's going to win? Let's go. If you guys think Pendulum's gonna win, let me know in the comments, and let's get straight into this video. Sadly, I lose a dice roll. So here, Mr. Flunder Doulas, very nice guy, by the way. Very, very nice player. I just don't like his deck, but very nice human being. Uh, here, I'm preparing myself. I'm like, all right, so we're gonna go face up M Pen. I look at my hand, I'm like, all right, we have some tricks up our sleeves to stop Flunder. Now, if you're, I'm playing Pendulums out here. I'm playing Pendulums, obviously, Pen best deck. I want you guys to pay close attention, because there are gonna be some tricks that I'm gonna use here to stop these uh, Flunder Duelists. I am playing Scareclaw Pendulums. That's right, I'm playing Scareclaw Pendulums. So I'm trying to utilize all this in a way. Sorry for the glare there, guys. He has the equip spell in a set. Sorry about that. I'm playing Scareclaw Pendulums. And if you think about this logically here, if you have Pearl Arena, or even if you get into Harmonized Magician, Harmonized Magician gets Ignister, Ignister, so, uh, so it gets Draco Slayer Maiden. That gets any field spell in your deck. And that's get that's just Perlerino. Perlerino gets Vice Star Frost. Vice Star Frost gets the Scarecrow Field spell. That gets a rival. That's three spells. So Servant resolves with three spells. Sadly, that's not working on fucking Barrier Statue. But what, what do you know? Oak Dragon's a win. Maiden is a win. So I'm playing accordingly. Uh, I use a bunch of allures. I'm like, man, I just need to start trying to pen summon an Oaf and a Maiden. I've Maiden in my hand. That's all I really need to do here. But I need to play around his trap as well. So here I summon the right card. Just uh, I'll like just I want to bait this. And he's going to use the trap right away. Uh, and I recognize I lose. It's, uh, I didn't have a high scale, man. Uh, that's a down. Like, I mean, I did have a high scale, but the high scale was... I hate Thunder, man! I hate this deck! Like, sometimes you need more stuff. Like, like after that duel, I'm like, you know what? Let me just zombie... Like, I just want to play zombie wall. I could have zombie wall his ass there. And post side deck, we should be doing that. But, uh, it's unfortunate. And then I get hit with D-Shifter. Barrier Statue D-Shifter. I fucking hate this deck. Seriously, I despise this deck. But guess what? What do champions do? Do they complain? No, they keep going. Yeah, I did hate this deck. But I just got hit with Baguska. Sorry. Sorry. I just got hit with, with, with Barrier Statue, Trap Card, and Pen. Now I get hit with D-Shifter. This is the game plan versus D-Shifter. I just pendulum someone a fuck ton. I search a rival as a follow-up. And guess what? Guess what? This deck absolutely gets destroyed to Baguska. Here, I should have sided as a... Uh, I did not have time to get a zombie world. This deck should be side decking one zombie world because that maid in there would have been able to search a zombie world under a shifter and I would have been able to set that up. Here I'm going to go straight to Baguska. Why? If he has some card like Chalice or Imprim to get rid of my Baguska, this makes it so my Mighty Master could still have a negate. I go beyond the pendulum over here because it's going to be a follow up of a duck for the following turn and I pass my turn. So through D shifter, we have Baguska and Master. Yes, Master cannot be activated with a shifter, but I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I do not care. Uh, what I want is a follow-up. I could have also dark his shifter and go into Apollosa, but I would prefer a follow-up here. And his cards aren't doing anything because as long as he doesn't have a dark ruler, this duel's over. So we're just going to keep that in mind over here. So he's going to be able to get some plus here. And the second he recognizes that he has no answer to the Baguska, guess what? Baguska is like shifter. So it gets Flunder when you get shiftered. If you're playing any deck, you Baguska their ass. That's what I did there. Look, you're going to get hit with shifter. This is what this deck does. This deck shifters your ass. So, in the scenarios when you do get shifted, you have to recognize that just Baguska them. So, game one, we, we open broken as shit, but we're under Barrier Statue and Pen Trap card, and we couldn't do much with the deck. Game two, I was too lazy to decide Zombie World, and I got hit with D Shifter, but it's fine. You just Baguska them, and then the next turn, you OTK them into Oblivion. That's fine. And this deck could actually play in, around Shifter as well. You, you can even play Shifter yourself. But, however, the Scareclaw stuff obviously gets really hurt by shifters. You can't really do that. So here, game three, 
I recognize my I bricked really hard. I bricked really hard. But nonetheless, what are you gonna do in a brick? You're gonna sit there and be like, like what? Why, why, mommy? I break. No, what the heck? No, you're gonna win. So, well, I'm gonna, he's gonna, I'm gonna let him do his plays. I'm gonna let him do his plays. He's gonna do some cool uh, thunder stuff, plusing a billion. I don't care. I'm gonna let him do his thing. What I'm gonna recognize here is I need to find a way to out this. Again, I have like five ways to get field spells in my hand, but there's no zombie world. So, in my scare claw uh, pendulum deck, uh, you need to side deck one zombie world. You actually do. Because not only the terraforming servitation search it, that part's irrelevant. It's the fact that Maiden, that's what makes the scare claw pendulum deck so powerful. It's the fact that Maiden can search you a any field spell, whether it's a Necro Valley, whether it's a Mystic Mind going second, whether it's a Secret Village going first, whether it's a Zombie World against this deck, whatever it may be. So he sets this up, and I go Abductor right away. Uh, Abductor, that is the continuous spell and two traps. Sorry that you, uh, about the glare. He goes Trap. He's thinking about the Trap, but I'm like, oh, just save the Trap a little bit, save it. Uh, here he goes for the spell, because he wants to get, ac uh, get access to this for more plays if I Normal Summon. And I'm trying to get as many counters as possible on my Magical Abductor. I recognize that I need to start Pendulum Summoning some wins. So I, I do want to... I'm thinking of the best ways. Well, my idea here is if I get Muddy Master to my hand, uh, I could set up Scales. And then if I Pendulum the Mice... See this? And he, act, he activates the Trap. Very smart that he did that. Because I tried to bait him. If I was able to Pendulum Summon my Trap, I could negate his own card. So I tried to bait him, but that didn't work. Uh, the bait did not work there. Here he makes a slight misplay using this spell, not attributing my Scale. Uh, so we're going to take that. Uh, he gets an Avion out there, uh, so we have a good setup, but he has a Barrier Statue there. So what we need to do is we need to out this Barrier Statue. Th this is like goal number one. Goal number one, out this Barrier Statue. Because once the Statue is out, we can pen summon whatever on God's green earth we, we so please. Uh, on top of that, we recognize that he does have the Field Spell. I do not care for Apex Avion. So I summon this right away, and I enter the battle and attack it. Uh, so next after that, I Pendulum Summon everything. Uh, I have a rival in my hand, so right card was just useless anyways. And I literally here I should have lit like that's this is the downside of not playing the zombie world. I could have searched zombie world and kill him. Uh, so in this scenario, I'm gonna play this bit by bit. I'm gonna get the Baron to pop that. I'm gonna pop that, and I'm gonna skip out rival to bring out the, the that and go Baguska. Why do I do this? Is even if he finds a way to out my uh, Baguska, I have Baron and Mighty Masters in the gates afterwards. He will have no answer to the Baguska here, but he actually did. His answer was in his graveyard. He had the trap in his grave, and we took advantage of the, of the Flunder player's misplay. That's what you need to do. Against decks like Flunder, you need to capitalize on their mistakes, because if you don't have an answer to their random nonsense floodgates, then you need to outplay them. So, uh, shout out to my opponent. He's a very nice uh, human being. He did miss that, that play. It was a misplay on his end, but you need to capitalize on this. This is When, when you face Flunder and decks like, like Floodgate decks, Stun decks, Capitalize on their mistakes and win. And play the best deck, Pendulum. Let's go. Hope you enjoy the video. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game. Available now on Kickstarter.